Hello everyone, for those new to the channel, I am Cafecito Papi. And today, I'll be reviewing some of the three most popular Cuban coffees you can find at your local grocery store. Those coffees are Café La Llave, Café Bustelo, Pilon Café Espresso. And the method that I'll be brewing these coffees will be with an espresso machine. Um, what I'll be looking for in these coffees are going to be richness, roast, taste, but at the end of it, I'll just tell you which one I think will come out on top and which one I think maybe you should try. So they're all brewed. As you can see, they have no creme on the top. These are supposed to be espressos. Espressos have creme on the top or that foam. You don't see it on these. The grind size for these type of coffees are too coarse. They need to be more finer so you could get that creme on the top when using an espresso machine. But that's something else we could get into later. Um, We'll start off with Café La Llave, this is Café Bustelo, and this is Café Pilon, right? So with Café La Llave, we'll try it out here. I said it was sweet before, it's really sweet. It's actually sweet. And I'm not talking about like it has sugar in there, I'm just talking about the natural um, coffee sweetness. It's very, very, you know, subtle. It's not like, you know, a sugary sweet or anything like that, but it, it compared to many other coffees, this is something that's sweet. It's light. I actually like it. It's not bad, All right? Um, we're gonna move on to Cafe Bustelo. Let's see. This I like, you know, it just from the first sip, it feels like it's rich, it's bold. Um, it's actually sweet, but not too, not so much sweet as this. But it's it's more of a rich taste or a rich feel when when sipping this. Um, I really like the Cafe Bustelo one. Let's see. Last but not least, here I said it was an earthy type of type of smell to it. Now let's see how it tastes. Yep, it definitely tastes like an earthy taste, just like how it smells. It's still good. If you like this type of taste, I mean. It works. I like it. It's good. Um, I've had other earthy type of coffees. This is actually better than most that I've tried before. So it's good. So so far, I think these two are 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 not like bold and rich. This right here is kind of a lighter coffee, still sweet, but um, all good. But I would have to say, for me, my opinion, got Febustello. Is the one that's winning it's the one that's on top so we have our winner cafe bustello if you want to wake up and say hello you need cafe bustello is that good well with that being said um you may be wondering who is cafecito papi why is he making coffee why is he having these espressos doing reviews well i love coffee And my coffee love came from when I was in the military, you know, I was just working long hours, doing crazy things and, and working hard. And one of the things that was always there throughout the good and the bad was coffee. It helped me stay awake. It helped me get through, you know, work or school work when I was doing school work in the military. And then just even to get energized, to go to the gym. So that, that's that's why I love coffee. You know, it's just one of those things that I learned to appreciate. You know, because I drank so much of it, different kinds of coffees, and uh, you know, I realized, you know, this one tastes good with sugar, this one tastes good with milk or without sugar or whatever, whatever it is. That's why I love coffee. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you tried these coffees, the Pilon, the Cafe Bustelo, the Cafe La Llave. What do you like about this video? Or what do you don't like about this video? And yep, I'll see you on the next time. Remember one thing, be good to yourself, be good to other people with a little cafecito.